Hello and welcome to this tutorial. I'm Hossein and I'm going to uh, to share some of my experiences uh, in working with Butterfly with you. Uh, Butterfly is uh, one of the Ladybug plugins uh, which are available uh, for free and uh, as an open source uh, plugin uh, to be used uh, for mm, doing environmental analysis. Uh, in this point, we have uh, CAD softwares, computer aided design softwares, uh, such as Rhino or uh, Rhino Grasshopper or Revit Dynamo. Uh, by, uh, by use of these, uh, uh, these plugins, we are going to connect the uh, CAD softwares to the simulation engines like uh, Open Studio or Open Foam or uh, or Term and Window or and these um, uh, plugins are helping us to do something like that and uh, especially um, op uh, special butterfly uh, works with Open Foam and uh, help us to do some uh, to analyze some thermal comforts and some mechanical ventilation and also some natural one and incompressible flow and buoyancy flow and uh, in order to using the butterfly we have to mm, have some sort of information about open foam and uh, CFD or computational fluid dynamics. You can uh, download uh, the you can download the butterfly uh, from Foot for Rhino. You can just uh, type uh, butterfly or ladybug tools here, and by searching it, uh, you will find ladybug tools. You know it is not separate. It is. Uh, it can be downloaded in the same page as the uh, ladybug tools and uh, when you come down here uh, the latest version of ladybug tools uh, consists of ladybug honeybee and Do uh, dragonfly but unfortunately it it does not have the butterfly if you want to use butterfly you have to use this one which is for 2019. They didn't have updated it yet. So, uh, when when you download it, um, it is not uh, you know you cannot go ahead and use it. You have to um, you have also to install uh, Open Foam on your um, machine. Uh, you can go to this website, which is here. And they told you how to install Open Foam, and even they told and uh, they they they, uh, they tell you how to use Grasshopper uh, for Butterfly and and even Dynamo. But some of these videos are a bit old, and I'm trying to uh, show you the new changes that are available. And you know, if you want to do a CFD analyze and use a uh, open phone simulation maybe butterfly may not be the best place to start uh, maybe you should um, learn more about it before starting to do it, doing it but in this video I'm not going to, t uh, to talk about uh, these stuffs so let's uh, go ahead and start working with the butterfly Okay, um, I'm just going first um, to have a box here. Have a center box here with these dimensions, and I want to be on the it's best position and I also need to have um, where is it okay 
I also need to have some plane to have the analysis on it. Sorry. Uh, this one. And a vertical one. Yes, it's okay. They can be help me to analyze. Okay, and I have to set them. This one and this one. Okay, that's good, and I can even internalize them. And omit. Okay. And it is not necessary right now. Okay. Then we go to the butterfly. And first we have to create a butterfly geometry. From here, uh, we select the butterfly, uh, create butterfly geometry. And we put a name for it, for example, box. We plug in the geometry. We need the boundary, which is available here. Oh, sorry, here. A, a wall boundary. We need a wall boundary. And, you know, for a refinement uh, level, we have to put two numbers, minimum and maximum. I will put uh, one and two here for the refinement level and here it is a number of the snappy hex mesh uh, I will put 3 for it and for mesh settings I will plug in uh, setting means jacked mesh that's enough then uh, we have to uh, we have to create uh, the wind tunnel. Here is the butterfly wind tunnel. Oh yeah, create case for uh, from tunnel. That's it. The name I will put tunnel. In putting the name, you should not uh, use a space. If you want, you can use underline, but I, it is not necessary for me. I plug in the butterfly. It needs a refinement region, and I have to make a refinement region here. So, uh, refinement region, butterfly refinement region is here, <clears throat> and I'm going to put the name refinement refinement. Okay. And the geometry should be a bit, uh, you know, should be a scale of it, you know. It is trying to help us to have a, a refinement region uh, to, uh, to do the uh, analysis in the more accurate way, you know, smaller meshes. So I have to scale this box. Scale it and mm -hmm, here. 1.5 okay and well done you know it has been scaled in the best way that it could be so I will plug in it into geometry okay we here and need a refinement mode which is available also here uh, and you know it says that we can use uh, location refinement or mode or distance re uh, refinement mode and I'm going to use a location refinement mode here and you know if you stop here it will tell you, it will tell you that uh, that you can uh, use inside or outside mode and I don't change it it is inside mode and the level I will put 2 Okay, as as here that I has tool, and here again I need a mesh set, a jacked mesh. Okay, that's fine. 
here it needs a wind vector which is available again here butterfly wind vector we can plug in it here and uh, we can set the wind speed to 5 and the wind di direction is in Y direction like uh, no or Y direction right now so let me just check let me just check about my planes my planes are also in the Y direction so there is no problem that will work okay let's go to the tunnel par uh, params you know, uh, I'm going to add a tunnel param here butterfly wind uh, tunnel param here and uh, to show you how it works, I have to use a toggle here and run. Okay, you know, these are uh, eight of my wind tunnel. And let me just uh, point, use a bifocal to let you see the components that I'm using. Okay, uh, these are eight uh, points here. And I can even make a bounding box to show you the box. That's it. Okay. This is my uh, wind tunnel. And I can adjust it. Uh, wind, wind ward is here. It is now three, and I think it can be two, for example. You know it come down you know let me just pick it out this is this is three and I put it two top X is uh, five right now we can set for example three for it mm -hmm. and the side here these two sides are I think three oh, oh it's five it can be three and the leeward is this one is this one and it can be it's 15 right now yeah and it can be 10 and I I think that the uh, the default settings are better you know but I'm just trying to make these settings in a way that uh, make it easier for my computer to analyze them okay so this is my uh, our wind tunnel and you know we are n we don't have to see it anymore then we have to uh, create our um, block mesh here we will put the case here and we also need a uh, need something like butterfly wind tunnel grading for the grading here from wind tunnel to wind tunnel and from uh, grad and cell count and you know the most important parameter here is cell size and I will show you how it will work but I need a toggle again here this one and another one which is here okay and I'm I to, to sing it I need a butterfly load mesh this case and another toggle And I will turn it on. Okay, first uh, turn true to uh, right to true. It will start to write it and then run. This is 
our block mesh. This is our block mesh. But you know, I'm I'm just trying to make it easier for my computer to do the job. So I you know cell size is uh, is now one. I will put it put two for it, and it will do some processes. And this is the this is our new black mesh. Okay, uh, let's go ahead. And just before that, I want to turn these two surfaces off. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, create our snappy hex mesh. Snappy hex mesh is here. It is going to put this mesh on this surface, but not this bigger one in the, the smaller box. So I am going to hide the refinement region and go back here put case and you know it needs a dictionary butterfly snappy hex mesh dictionary I will plug in it here and nothing more I, I'm not I'm not going into the details and just two toggles again here okay and I'm going to turn it on I'm just going to run it uh, to write it and just and then run uh, it may take a few seconds depend on the case and then to see how it done it how, how it has done it we can just plug in it here okay now you see let me yeah you know, this is how a snappy hex mesh works okay let's go ahead and uh, go into the solution Butterfly solution is here. We can, you know, we don't really need to see it anymore. See the snappy X mesh, and I'm going to turn the visualization off. Okay, we need a case. We need a recipe, which is here. Uh, butterfly steady incompressible recipe. Uh, we don't. I don't want to talk about uh, decompose too much, but it is. It is about how many CPUs that I'm using. Another parameter is solution parameter, which is here, and uh, it consists. Of, you know, it will work. It will work when I put the other plugins here. It will work with uh, control dictionary. Butterfly control dictionary here, which helps us to control the solution. You know, end point here is 1000, which is not necessary. About five, uh, 500 is good, but for this tutorial, I will use 200. And write interval uh, says. Um, you know when it is going to write what have been analyzed for example and it is 100 and I will put in order to write more 50 and for props I'm going to use the points on the surfaces that I'm going to analyze so I am going to bring those surfaces all the way here because they are not necessary to be there and that's it okay which one I want to do first yeah this one so here I'm going to use a ladybug plugin which is ladybug generate points grid that's it 
and I plug in the geometry I will um, put the size to 1 sorry that's it and this is our mesh and I don't need it anymore and you know to plug in it to the butterfly par uh, solution parameter I need another plugin which is butterfly props mm -hmm. I will plug it in first here and then here okay and for fields uh, we have three kinds of fields U if you look at here capital U P and K we use U for vectors we use P for for example pressures and uh, we have to write it here a small p and capital U it is important to take care of this size of the letters and turn off the multi-line data here and plug in it here and it will work okay uh, you know now I need just to boolean toggle here in order to write and run the solution but you know if I do it you will uh, see nothing I have to do some uh, to use some visualization components here so I'm going to to post process tab and use a butterfly load uh, props value and plug in it here and you know I'm going to visual the vectors so I'm using a capital P here capital U sorry and then I will use a vector here and I just need a vector display something like that yeah this one the points are here this point but it should be flattened sorry forgot flattening it the points are here and I'm going to you know if I plug in the vector directly uh, some of the vectors are too big we can either unitize it or amplify it okay I'm going to unitize it unit vector and for the color I am going to use a gradient just uh, in better position yeah and I need a vector length vector length here and I do need a bound and a deconstruct domain deconstruct domain here okay so I put it here and it will start with blue and end with green very soon okay it's it means that the biggest vector the biggest vector will be red and the smallest one would be blue I'm not sure but I think that's it okay and again I'm going to use a, another butterfly prop value from here to help you 
learn it better. Okay, here a small p. It is important, and that's it. And here I have to use some ladybug. Sorry, where is the ladybug? Ladybug tools again, and I'm going to use a hit map. And I'm going to use a legend. And is there anything else that I need? That I may need? No, that's enough. Okay, I will plug in the value values and the mesh from here that I have to join. Join mesh. Join mesh. Mesh join. Okay. That's it. And that's it. Okay, and legend parameters. And what else? Ah, about the color, Ladybug has a color here, Ladybug color range. You know, it depends on the analyze that I'm doing, you know. If you stand here, it will tell you. Uh, but I'm going to use a multicolor ladybug simply. So that's it. And I think it will work. You know, it is in orange right now because of you know there is not there the, uh, the solution did not work. If it worked, I think that it will work either. If it didn't, so we will check it. Okay. I'm just going to check items before running the solution. I don't need them. I don't need the... Where is it? Let me find the mesh. Oh, where is it? Ah, uh -uh, this is, this is the mesh. And the box can be there. And you know, oh, about the interval, you know, it will show us um, the solution every two seconds, and it is too soon, it will uh, speed down the computer. So, you know, just I will put 10 seconds here, and about it's. 520 I I think that it can work let's see first we should draw uh, we should write you know it is trying to do something but this is not right and then run it it will do that this is stuff uh, 200 times and it will show us the solution oh i wish that it will work okay it has done uh, but the solutions are all in blue. So I have to check it out. Okay. You know, I, I found what has happened. First, I turned, uh, I have to turn off this. You know, uh, the problem is, uh, is that we did not trim the surface. And the surface, uh, you know, the analyze got uh, through whole of the object. We have to, you know, we have to trim this surface before uh, plugging it to the um, ladybug gener um, generate point. So I have to turn off this and also this one. Okay. And I'm going to use a 
solid uh, trim this shape from the whole the main geometry from here and there we go it is true and it should work and we are going to write it and we are going to let me just turn it off right now I don't know okay and then it will work I, I wish you know it is not going to work why because of you know it has been written something and I have to purge it you know I have to omit what it have already done butterfly purge case I will plug in the solution here and I will tell him uh, to meet the results here and I don't know how it will work okay it is um, uh, empty right now and I, I think it will work it have to work and run please do yeah it's going to do something Oh yeah, you know, it's going to work. After 200 times of analyze, we will see the solution. Okay, that's it. It had. Okay, let me go to there. And let me just turn off the company. Yeah, this is this is how it has analyzed. You know, you can, you know, I have done too many things to slow down, to sorry, to, uh, to fasten uh, the process. You know, twenty two hundred times is not enough. I think it needs at least five hundred to do the best of itself. Or you know, here. I put uh, the cell size into two. It can be one to be more accurate. Okay, so let's go here and let's see the pressure. Yeah, that's something like that. It can be better, it needs more time and more accuracy to do that and let's see how it will work with the this surface but I just need to move it up a bit oh sorry in Z direction um, but just about one meter that it is what it okay that's good I have to just turn to false and ask it to purge them, purge them, the results, and then I have to set it here. Let's just look at it. Okay, that's okay. Let's. Uh, do that and even this one so uh, write it again and run it is trying to solve it and every 10 seconds it will show the new results Okay, 
that's it. Here, uh, the wind calm, it goes there. Let me just look at the vectors. Yeah, this is the vectors. Uh -huh. And, you know, we can, I think we can work on the colors a bit, if it was possible. Maybe a bit. Mm. To make it a bit better, for example. Uh, something like that. Huh. That might be good. Okay, uh, thank you very much for watching this video.